Well, 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 ladies, gentlemen, those who are not so sure, what about you? Do I have a tamper? The eternal question. Yes, I do. Today we're going to do a review of J.F. Germain's special Latakia Flake. I've been smoking it for three weeks, four weeks now. And it's nice. But, uh, yeah, I was expecting it to be Latakia heavy. Uh, it isn't. But there's enough Latakia there. But it's, uh, ostensibly, it's a, it's a Virginia blend, I would say. And, uh, there's enough ladder here to keep it smoky and campfirey and interesting. Mm -hmm. But before we talk about it in any great depth, let's have a look, shall we? Okay, so this is J.F. Germain's special ladder here flake. No. It doesn't come in what you would call a flake. It's a broken flake. It's a very good looking, but if you'll notice in some of the pieces, it's kind of either dark stripe or very bright stripe. So the darker stripe is your Latakia. And the tendency with these flakes, if you rub them out, the Latakia just crumbles into dust. Like, you know, these wee small bits here. So you don't want that to happen. Um, so I would advise anyone to, who is smoking this, to just let it dry out. Uh, and then kind of fold and stuff. Or if you're going to rub it out, make sure you... Yeah, make sure you rub it out gently. But you can see the bright Virginia's there and the brighter, possibly Turkish leaf in there as well. And the rest is your Latakia. But there isn't an awful lot of Latakia in there. Uh, I think it's a, I mean, heavy flavor. It isn't that bad. So it's a very enjoyable smoke. So. Let's get back to the review. Hopefully you're having a great day, folks. Mm. There you have it. So, yeah. I find this blend to be more of a Virginia and uh, Oriental forward. It's not a Latakia bomb, like I said. And as you can see with the flakes, you've got to be careful how you pack that. You want to get an equal amount of the, the bright leaf and the dark uh, stuff in your, in your pipe. So it's very salty. It's a very salty kind of blend I like that it's Germain's to me has that in uh, most of the ones I've tried anyway has this kind of saltiness I've heard somebody equate that to as if Germain's is made you know close to the ocean and the the waves are smashing against the rocks and the spray is spraying over the tobacco as it's drying. It's that kind of saltiness. It's a fantastic kind of thing to have. But needless to say, it's extremely savory. Those of you... But yeah, yeah, it's being combated by the, the sweetness of the Virginias. The Orientals are ever present, shall we say. Uh, they're 
giving a sour note as well, a tanginess and a stringentness. It's a kind of a, a slight sour, uh, not acidic, not acrid in any way, just a nice tangy zing to the, you know, the overall blend. Hmm. I don't seem to have packed the pipe very well. This happens even to experts occasionally, you know. It's hard to pack a flake like that. You can't really rub it out too much. The Orientals also give it a bit of spice. So you, the main components in this are the Virginia and the Orientals, and then the Latakia kind of gives a smoky note in the background. If you really concentrate, you will... I mean, the Latakia, there is enough. There is enough. A lot of people say this will ghost a briar pipe, so maybe you want to think about that. But if you smoke a lot of uh, Gawiths and Germains, you're used to that kind of thing anyway. Whenever I first tried this, I was disappointed at the lack of uh, Latakia in the blend, but it's fantastic. That's not what it's all about. If you want uh, more of a heavy Latakia blend, uh, one I had recently under the recommendation from Eric Weaver was Ashton's uh, Artisan's blend. And it's got a real dose of Latakia. It's fantastic, yeah. Hmm. The Virginias are kind of light and citrusy, but there's that bready sweetness as well. The kind of... There's a bit of... A bit of dark fruits in there as well with the Virginias. But overall, in the background, the, the Latakia gives a good woody, smoky campfire note. And it's enough to keep you, you know, entertained. If it was Latakia you were looking for overall. I just can't get over that saltiness. And the Orientals help with this as well. It's really nice, really pleasant. It is just a savory, wholesome tobacco. You won't feel like you need to pack another bowl straight after a pipe. You know the way sometimes you smoke a Virginia or something. You fancy another bowl after. This will leave you satiated for a while. Or satisfied, should I say. It won't bite or get harsh, even if you smoke it heavily. Uh, go fast at it. It's just really well blended, really well mixed together, which means that you'll note sometimes in a puff you'll notice the Virginias, other times you'll notice the Latakia, La other times you'll notice the... Uh, Orientals.
it burns quite slowly and it will require uh, some relights depending obviously on how left how long you left it out to dry and things like that This is a great, great tobacco. Unfortunately though, I've packed it to shit. So let me try and fix that. Just gonna dump the ash and then give it a poke. Did you eat all yours, you? Did you finish yours already, you? As a millennial male that went to a great college, worked at private equity firms. I've been, uh, what have I been doing today? Not really much. Been uh, obviously enjoying doing the reviews with Watch City Cigars. Jesus, that Persian slipper was fantastic. Really, really, really good. I will be ordering some of that. Um, yeah, definitely. think I'm going to wait until we've reviewed all of the Watch City Cigar Blends and then pick out the top three or four and order maybe six or seven ounces of those each or something. Really nice Persian slipper. God damn, fantastic. Try it. If you can't get it, the closest thing I could say it's to me uh, that I've tried is uh, Peter Stockeby's Luxury English. Give it a go. This is great. Really enjoyable. I've been appreciating Latakia more and more the more I smoke it. I could easily see myself turning into a Latakia freak. Freak! Whatever that is. I love a good cup of tea. Proper English tea with milk. So, Glenn, Drop Bear Woodworks, Aussie cunt. Uh, I don't like to use that word, but, you know, it's one of those words that the Aussies like to use a lot. He's coming on to the show. Uh, the Zooms. Uh, he's a great guy, isn't he? So I'm looking forward to that. I think that'll be a really, really easy, easy uh, interview. Much like the one with Simon was great last uh, last week or whenever it was. Simon's great. 
Oh, yeah, yeah. Simon uh, did a yabu where he received... I sent him a little sample, literally little. So I didn't, uh, didn't give him too much, but uh, especially of the um, bosun plug, because I know he's not for, uh, too fond of Lakeland Essence, but I really just want them to like it. And I think bosun might help him. So, Simon, hopefully you'll make a video of uh, Boson Plug, your reaction, your first reaction to it. It is very floral on the on the uh, charring light and things like that, but uh, gets easier as you go. Gets more kind of clovey and interesting. Glenn will be interesting. That should be any any time this week, really. After that, we've got Charlie Briar Boyo on uh, Instagram. Very well spoken young man. Gonna see if I can uh, wrench some information from him. He seems to know an awful lot about his backy. He certainly enjoys it. I know him and his uh, his better half as well. I'm not too sure if it's his wife or his missus or his girlfriend or his mistress or his who knows. I think he's maybe too young to be married. I don't know. Uh, I know she smokes a pipe as well. So, yeah. Steph... My Steph's tried a pipe there not so long ago. I was going to film it, her first pipe, and see what she thinks. But then I, I, uh, yeah. I don't know how you guys feel about, you know, getting your wife involved, but every time I see it, I feel a little bit cringy. Apart from you, Steve Coddington, your wife's actually quite funny. And obviously, um, you know, Kathy and all the rest of them, and, and Steph, and it, th those are obviously not the people I'm talking about. I'm talking about, you know, wives or husbands who don't smoke a pipe, you know, and f f how I feel about, you know, filming them as they embark on their first tobacco experience. That's what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about all you established girls out there. I have nothing against that. I love it. I wish there were more. But yep, Steph didn't really take to it to, like a duck to water, shall we say. What did I give her? I gave her some Lane Limited 1Q just because I thought that would be nice and easy. She didn't really enjoy it. So I'm thinking maybe I'll give her some fucking Kentucky. <laughs> Next time she fancies it in the summer, maybe I'll just get her on the fucking Germain's Brown Flake or something. Something normal. She didn't really enjoy it. Steph, she used to smoke the odd cigarette back years ago. So, uh, and even the odd cigar as well. But uh, maybe it's just the tobacco she didn't like. I'm sure it is. And I'm sure there's a tobacco out there for everyone. Hmm. Charlie Briar Boyle. So Glenn Drop Bear Woodworks, then Charlie Briar Boyle. Then we've got Mick, Aussie E Piper. He's going to come on. And then 
I'm nearly sure I have someone else lined up, but I can't remember who it is now. Yeah, I'm not sure. But anyway, listen, guys. I hope you're all enjoying the uh, Peace Accord Blend Club as much as I am doing them. I... Uh, Hope you're all having a fantastic weekend, Saturday night, tonight. I'm not really doing much, just watching TV and I'm booked in for my Pfizer job on the 14th and uh yeah, I'm a bit nervous about that because knowing my luck, I'll just get side effects. I'll grow a, a an extra dick or something. Yeah, but not really looking forward to it. Don't really like getting injections. Neither does Steph, but we'll see. I might film the whole process, make the nurses very uncomfortable and other news, my mother, who is in her, so she's in in and around 70, shall we say. She's uh, just had her hip replaced on Thursday morning, Thursday afternoon, sorry, late afternoon. They went privately. She was on the waiting list for too fucking long, put it that way. And... Uh, she was in a lot of pain, but still going on walks and things like that. And so they went private. They got it all booked last month, and it was already happening on Thursday. So apparently when they opened her up and they actually looked at the bone, the hip bone, it was gr ground down way, way, way more than they actually thought. And they actually said, we can't believe how much pain you must have been in. And she confirmed, yep, she was in pain. So she got a brand new titanium. She's a cyborg now. My mum's a cyborg. Um, she will go off at airports. She might even cause magnetic fields. and You might not be able to use your mobile phone around her anymore. So it's kind of Connie Constance 2.0. Her name's Connie. And, uh, yeah, she's a cyborg. What can I say? It won't be long before she's demanding your clothes, your boots, and your motorcycle. And taking off with what little tobacco you had stored and bringing it to me if I can program her properly. We'll see. We'll see. We can all dream, can't we? Can't we all dream? But anyway, folks, I'm talking a load of shite, so have a wonderful weekend. If you also enjoy special Latakia Flake, please let me know what you think. I think it's great. I would give it a 4.5 out of 5. It's not quite... Oh my God! It's not sell your mother, as Phil would say, but it's, it's really good. I hope you've had a fantastic week and I have a great weekend. Like I said for the fifth time now, I'm sorry. I'm Irish. Have a great time. See you later, folks. Toodle pip.